So the Edmonton Oilers have announced that they have signed forward Zach Hyman to a seven-year deal worth $5.5 million per year. And for me, seven years is a little bit too long for Zach Hyman. I don't have too big of a problem with the average annual value of the contract. But for the Oilers, I mean, you pay to get this guy. Hopefully he'll work out. He's going to be in a situation you'd have to think like he was in Toronto where he's a good, hard-working guy who hounds pucks down, has a little bit of skill himself, but he will be playing with some very skilled players. Maybe he'll play with McDavid. If he plays with McDavid, who knows, maybe he'll be a 30-goal scorer. I think on his own, Zach Hyman's maybe a 14 to 18, maybe even 20-goal scorer. But because he's played with some really good players in Toronto... Uh, that probably boosted up his offensive numbers a little bit, thus giving him a pretty healthy contract now. And he'll more than likely continue to play with some very good players here in Edmonton, probably with McDavid and Dreisaitl, you would have to think. Let's talk about a not-so-big signing that the Ottawa Senators made today as they signed defenseman Michael Delzotto to a two-year deal worth $2 million per year. Uh, the first year will pay him $1.75 million, the second year will pay him $2.25 million. And I don't know why the Sens had to sign Michael Del Zotto. When they did it, my first thoughts were, okay, JBD will not make the team out of camp. My second thoughts were, they're going to find a way to push Brandstrom and Mete out of the lineup. And DJ Smith, he just has this thing where he doesn't like small players. I mean, you can argue it all you want, but it's pretty obvious. He just wants big, heavy guys on his team. Uh, if they play Brown, Josh Brown, and, and a Nick Holden uh, over Brandstrom and Mete, that's just going to be criminal. I mean, you can't do that. And DJ Smith was quoted today as saying the bright light at the end of the tunnel is, you know, it's hard to make our team now, something like that. Well, if Josh Brown can make your team and if Delzato can make your team, it's obviously not that hard to make your team. And it should be hard for those guys to make your team because they shouldn't be in the lineup over Mete and Brandstrom. So those are my thoughts on these signings. Please let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.